So, I haven't yet built my new loft, but the material is on its way and should be arriving this weekend, so I'll make a start. We've got eight pairs of birds that are currently on eggs. So I've also applied for membership of the North Road Championship Club and the rings have arrived, so I've got those. I'm gonna put some of those on the uh, young birds. Let's go and have a look and uh, see what the, uh, the nest boxes are looking like. I've got these step ladders here just for uh, a cheap LED light that I've got and the solar panel is on the roof and I had it down here originally but it wasn't getting enough light and because of the orientation of the loft it faces north it means that uh, it gets very little light during the day the sun comes up from over there and it sets before it actually gets into the loft So you can probably see uh, the new sign for the pub, the blue bar. Corinza did that for me uh, over Christmas, so. It always looks a bit flat until you, when you put the base blocks of colour on. And then as you add more detail, it sort of comes to life. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say was, for those people that have never bred before, like me, um, this is a pigeon egg. Uh, to find out if these eggs are fertilised, which it's important to know if they are or not, because you want to know if you've got any chicks being formed in there, you can do something called candling. Uh, and this is something I used to do when I, I used to rear uh, rare breed chickens. And uh, what you do is you basically shine a torch through the shell uh, of the egg and then you'd be looking for a type of web structure uh, a, a, almost like the a bloodshot eye and then inside if it's clear like um, you see a little yellowy bit um, then it's probably not fertilized got my paper got my pencil and I'm going to come up with an absolutely awesome loft design Actually, that'll look pretty good. Very excited, the first egg has hatched. Oh, I just snuck a crunchy bar into my pocket. Excellent. Mm. One of the things I've had to do is I've had to put these grills that Dave gave me um, upside down in the corner because when I open the door, one of the uh, a couple of the birds that have paired up are pairing up in this corner here, and there's absolutely no way I can let them nest there because that's exactly where I stand. Um, so I've put that there just to try and encourage them to move elsewhere. And this one should be hatching out in the next few days. And there's a, a dummy again there as well. And then, very protective, there's two eggs in there. That's um, Ryan, not Brian in there. But in this one, if we can get, this is, um, see what it's like. This is um, 1983, really good bird. Bird also, under there. If you just see, it's our first, um, it's our first chick. Which I think hatched out either last night or early this morning. And then the egg next to that is, um, 
it's actually it's actually a plastic egg and then in here we've got another two which should still just be eggs they yeah they'll be due to hatch out in the next few days as well so we're basically doing um this one's set on plastic eggs so there's nothing in there then we've got some down there some in there two there two there um and then the others are starting to pair up now so hopefully we'll um we'll start to see some more so i'm expecting in the next few days two to hatch out of box three, one to hatch out of box one, and then two from four, two from seven, two from 11, and two from these as well. So, um, but yeah, first chick ever. So super excited by that. Uh, I think it's a day old. And um, so I've got to make a note of that because you've got to put the rings on at a certain time. Now, one of the things uh, that I've been uh, reading about, obviously uh, I've seen a lot on the forums is if you've only got one chick in a nest, then you have to put leave the egg in there or put a small potato in there just to stop um, the, the, the the single chick's legs from splaying. This is Des mentioned it recently. Uh, this pecking that they're doing with this cock there, look, he's, he's chasing his hen around and that's what they call driving, which I assumed was driving when they were just trying to mate with them, but actually he's driving her back to the nest, which makes sense, so that she lays her egg. Um, so correct use of terminology, I think, because my, my use of terminology is pretty uh, amateur at best. Um, so we've got driving when they're pecking and what was the other one? Uh, there was um, cock blocking. Oh, I can't remember what you call that. Uh, someone else commented actually and said that they just let their yearlings have a free run and that's practically what I've done. Um, other than the first few, I started, some of the pairs took, some of them didn't and the ones that took great, they're the ones that are on eggs now. Um, and, but you'll notice that there's one, two, three, four, five boxes empty um, which is actually uh, four boxes empty and and some of these others actually paired up later um, and they're ones that just sort of found their own mate and I'm fine with that really because I don't know the performance of a lot of these birds they've only had a few races as young birds so uh, let's see what they produce um, if any of them are any good but these uh, these top few boxes and these down here they, they, they're ones that are selected well the top three are the ones that are selected so uh, we've got an egg from 1983 which is great and then Darlow 94 should uh, their egg should be hatching out next and uh, I'll give you an update uh, after oh, early start today because we're going to pick up the new Pigeon transporter. All right. Where did it go? Ready. <laughs> it's just that that I'm worried about. Yeah. What does the temperature gauge say? It is. <laughs> 